believes Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovation. A brief trip into the future with inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's journey is as incredible as his invention. A true story of perseverance, raw talent, and an unshakable belief in the impossible. Born in 1980 in Budiriro, a high-density suburb of Harar, Zimbabwe, Chikambutso's early life was marked by financial struggles that made it difficult for his family to afford basic necessities, let alone a formal education. At just 14 years old, those financial hardships forced him to drop out of school, cutting short his traditional path to success. However, what he lacked in formal education, he more than made up for with an innate brilliance and an insatiable curiosity for technology and engineering. Unlike most inventors who rely on structured learning, Chikambutso was completely self-taught. With no textbooks, mentors, or engineering labs, he turned to what was available, scrap materials and sheer determination. Using discarded electronic components, he built his first radio transmitter, successfully broadcasting over a short range. But he didn't stop there. He went on to design a digital navigator, a turbine engine, and other electronic devices all before reaching adulthood. His ability to visualize and construct complex systems without formal training left those around him in awe. Shikambuzo has often spoken about visions and divine inspiration guiding his work. He claims that many of his inventions were not the result of trial and error, but rather of clear, vivid instructions that came to him at night. He describes these experiences as revelations from God giving him insights into energy and engineering principles that defy conventional wisdom. Though such claims have drawn skepticism, they have also shaped his unwavering belief in his mission to create sustainable, independent energy solutions that could transform the world. I started to see visions, and up to until now, I see visions, very clear visions, not even when I'm not asleep. Mm. Those are some of the things that I see. And uh, God started to teach me, I believe, God started to teach me. I could hear voices. I started to experiment with some electronic components. No one ever taught me what were the names and the, the uses of electronic components. It was God. Despite facing ridicule, financial constraints, and a lack of institutional support, Chikambuzo never gave up. His passion was stronger than his obstacles, and with each small success, he pushed further. He believed that his work had the potential to challenge established energy industries, liberating people from reliance on fossil fuels and traditional electricity grids. Today, his journey from a school dropout in Zimbabwe to an innovator at the forefront of energy technology serves as a powerful testament to the limitless potential of human ingenuity, regardless of background or circumstances. At the core of Maxwell Chikambuzo's revolutionary invention is the Microsonic Energy Device, MSED, a technology that allegedly converts ambient radio frequencies into usable electrical power. Unlike conventional electric vehicles that rely on batteries and external charging stations, the Safe Free Energy Vehicle, FEV, is designed to continuously generate its own power, eliminating the need for refueling or recharging. If this technology functions as claimed, it could disrupt the entire energy and automotive industries, rendering traditional power sources obsolete. While solar, wind, and battery electric solutions are currently leading the push toward green energy, Chikambuzo's microsonic energy concept aims to take things further, providing an infinite power source that works anywhere, anytime, without reliance on sunlight, wind, or fossil fuels. The implications of such an innovation are staggering. Imagine a world where cars no longer need charging stations, where drivers never worry about running out of fuel, and where vehicles double as mobile power stations capable of supplying electricity to homes or businesses. With the Safe FEV, Chikambuzo claims that owners can connect their car to their house and supply up to 15 kilowatts of energy, enough to power an average household. This means that during blackouts or emergencies, the vehicle itself becomes a lifeline, providing an uninterrupted power source. This is particularly significant for countries like Zimbabwe and others across Africa, where unstable electricity grids often leave communities without power. A scalable, 
This breakthrough could transform energy access in regions that currently struggle with infrastructure challenges. In terms of performance, the SAFE F EVE is not just about sustainability, it is also about speed and efficiency. Boasting a top speed of 220 km per hour, it matches or even surpasses some of the world's leading electric vehicles, including Tesla's Model S and other high-performance EVs. However, unlike Tesla, which relies on large lithium-ion battery packs that degrade over time, the SAFE F EV promises an unlimited driving range, theoretically capable of running indefinitely as long as ambient radio waves are available. Additionally, the vehicle comes equipped with advanced features, including self-parking technology and a state-of-the-art driving system, making it not only energy efficient, but also technologically advanced. If independently verified and mass-produced, Shikambutso's MSE deep-powered car could redefine the global transportation industry, shifting power away from fossil fuel giants and even established electric vehicle manufacturers like Tesla and BYD. Unsurprisingly, Chikambutso's claims have sparked both amazement and skepticism in the global scientific community. Many engineers in the United States and Europe remain doubtful, as the idea contradicts conventional laws of physics, particularly the laws of thermodynamics. However, if proven to be real, this technology could completely disrupt the global energy sector, posing a major threat to oil, gas, and electric vehicle manufacturers. Perhaps most significantly, China, the undisputed leader in EV production, has also taken notice. The Chinese automaker KE partnered with Chikambutso to develop the SAFE FEV's body and core vehicle components, providing the necessary automotive expertise. However, the real breakthrough lies in its self-powering energy system, which, if mass-produced, could append China's dominance in the EV sector. Currently, China controls the global supply chain for battery production, rare earth minerals, and electric vehicle components, with companies like BYD, NIO, and CATL leading the industry. If Zimbabwe's self-powered vehicle technology proves viable, it could drastically shift global manufacturing dynamics, making Chikambutso's innovation a potential game-changer that alters the balance of power in the EV industry. A future where vehicles no longer need batteries or charging stations would force China, the US, and European automakers to completely rethink their strategies, or risk being left behind by a small African nation pioneering the next great leap in transportation technology. Unlike many inventors who struggle to gain government recognition and support, Maxwell Chikambutso has received official backing from Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mangaiwa. The president has publicly praised Chikambutso's work, describing it as a monumental breakthrough, not just for Zimbabwe, but for the world. Recognizing the disruptive potential of this innovation, Mangabwe has positioned Chikambutso's free energy vehicle as a national achievement, aligning it with Zimbabwe's development mantra, Nika Inovakwa Nivin Veo, a nation is built by its people. This endorsement is not just symbolic, it represents a commitment to fostering homegrown technological advancements and protecting local innovation in a world where African inventors often struggle to secure funding, partnerships, and infrastructure for mass production. With government support, Zimbabwe is now exploring the possibility of establishing a local manufacturing plant dedicated to producing the safe free energy vehicle and other microsonic energy devices. This initiative could be a game-changer for the nation, creating thousands of jobs, boosting technological development, and reducing reliance on fuel imports and foreign automotive companies. If successful, Zimbabwe could become a global hub for next-generation clean energy transportation, attracting international investors, scientists, and engineers eager to be part of a groundbreaking movement. By prioritizing domestic manufacturing, Zimbabwe aims to retain control of its intellectual property while ensuring that the economic benefits of this innovation stay within the country, rather than being exploited by foreign corporations. Moving forward, our institutions of learning should talk to industry, or industry should talk to our institutions of learning, so that the needs of commerce, the needs of industry are addressed 
when we are molding our youth in our institution. Beyond the automotive industry, the potential impact of microsonic energy technology extends into power generation, telecommunications, and infrastructure development. If the technology can be scaled and commercialized, Zimbabwe could lead the charge in providing clean, independent energy solutions to regions across Africa and beyond. Addressing power shortages and reducing dependence on fossil fuels and expensive electricity grids, such a development would not only revolutionize Zimbabwe's economy, but could also position Africa at the forefront of the global energy transition, challenging the dominance of Western and Asian energy markets. Maxwell Chikambuso's innovations extend far beyond self-powered vehicles, signaling a potential revolution in global energy consumption. His self-powered television, which operates without an external power source, challenges the very foundation of modern electronics, offering a glimpse into a future where devices no longer need to be plugged in. Meanwhile, his green energy generator, capable of producing a staggering 500 kilowatts of power, could replace diesel generators, which are widely used in off-grid rural areas, factories, and emergency power backup systems. With millions of people across Africa, Asia, and Latin America lacking access to reliable electricity, Chikambuso's invention could bridge the energy gap, bringing affordable, clean, and unlimited power to the most remote corners of the world. If successfully scaled, these innovations could fundamentally reshape the energy sector, particularly in developing nations. African countries spend billions annually on fuel imports to run generators, power grids, and industries, money that could instead be invested in local infrastructure and economic development. Chikambuzo's self-sustaining power station presents a game-changing alternative, providing uninterrupted electricity without requiring fuel, solar panels, or wind turbines. This could break the cycle of energy dependence, freeing nations from foreign energy control and empowering them to develop their economies without external constraints. Moreover, reducing reliance on fossil fuels would significantly lower carbon emissions, aligning with global efforts to combat climate change while positioning Zimbabwe and Africa as a leader in clean energy innovation. While Maxwell Chikambuso's innovations have sparked global excitement, the road ahead is filled with major challenges that could determine the fate of his groundbreaking technology. The biggest hurdle is scientific validation. Without independent, peer-reviewed studies, many in the scientific and engineering communities remain skeptical. The laws of thermodynamics suggest that energy cannot be created from nothing, leading critics to question whether microsonic energy technology is truly viable. To gain widespread acceptance, Chikambuzo's claims must be tested under controlled conditions by independent researchers and industry experts. If proven, this technology could revolutionize transportation, energy production, and global sustainability efforts. But without scientific validation, it risks being dismissed as pseudoscience. Beyond validation, funding and large-scale production pose another challenge. Manufacturing self-powered cars, generators, and televisions at an industrial scale will require massive financial backing, advanced production facilities, and global distribution networks. So far, no major automaker or energy corporation has openly invested in bringing Chikambuzo's technology to market. Additionally, powerful interests in the oil, gas, and electricity sectors have historically resisted disruptive energy breakthroughs that threaten their trillion-dollar industries. Chikambuzo himself has faced serious opposition, including a 2017 poisoning incident in the U.S. that killed his business partner. As history has shown with past energy innovators like Nikola Tesla and Stanley Meyer, those who challenge the status quo often face fierce pushback. Maxwell Chikambuzo's journey from a school dropout in Zimbabwe to a global innovator is nothing short of inspiring. If his technology proves real, it could revolutionize transportation and energy, challenging Tesla, oil giants, and China's manufacturing dominance. As the official launch of the Safe FEV approaches on February 10, 2025, the world is watching closely. Will this be the breakthrough that changes history or just another unverified claim? Your perspective matters. What do you make of Maxwell Chikambuzo? 
a young Zimbabwean, inventing the world's first free energy vehicle. Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa Wealth and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.